Today, we will talk about how to splint a dog's leg. Let's have a look at the details. Say your dog breaks a bone in their leg like their shin or elbow bone, and then tries to stand and walk on the damaged bone. Placing weight on the broken limb will not only increase the amount of pain your dog will experience, but it will also cause the bones to move apart and make the fracture worse. Bone rubbing against bone is extremely painful, so it's imperative that you assess your dog's injury and if necessary, create a splint for your dog's injured leg before taking him to the vet. The first step is confirming your dog needs a split. Call your vet to attend to your injured dog. If you can avoid moving your dog or if he is injured in a low traffic area, call your vet to help you assess your dog's injury. Move your dog to a safe place. It's important to get your dog to lay still to assess the injury, so you will need to move him to a safe place to examine his leg. Notice if your dog's leg moves or wobbles in the wrong direction. Signs of obvious instability in your dog's leg include the leg moving in a direction it is not meant to. Look to see if the bone has penetrated the skin. If your dog's injured bone is sticking out through his skin, a splint will help to stop the bone from moving any further. Tie your dog down so he does not move or stand. If you determine that your dog's injury needs a splint, you need to prevent your dog from standing or walking on his damaged leg by tying him to a piece of furniture or a post. The second step is gathering the materials and applying the first protective layer. Gather together the necessary materials in one place. You don't want to get the first few layers of the splint on only to find you are missing a length of the bandage so get all your materials together in one place before you make the splint. Get someone to help you hold your dog still. If your dog is conscious, it is helpful to a friend or neighbor to assist you in holding your dog still. Lie your dog down on a padded surface with his injured leg in the air. Use a rug or a towel to create a soft, padded surface as your dog will be less likely to wiggle around if he is comfortable. Position yourself on one side of your dog with his paws closest to you. Your assistant should stand with your dog's back against their tummy so that your dog's legs are pointing away from them and towards you. Have your assistant gently restrain your dog. Clean any open wounds. Stop any excessive bleeding. Then clean the wound before dressing it to limit the risk of infection. Call the veterinarian immediately if you cannot get the bleeding to stop on your own. Cover any open wounds on your dog's leg with a sterile gauze swab. To do this, cut two strips of zinc oxide tape so they are 4 inches wider than the swab. Apply a single layer of padding around your dog's leg. Applying the splint directly to the skin can cause rubbing and discomfort so begin with a single layer of padding around your dog's leg. The third step is applying the splint. Cut off 4 to 6 pieces of zinc oxide tape. Each strip should be twice the diameter of the bone being splinted. Place the splint against the padding to support the injury. Make sure you line up the splint to properly fit the injured area. Secure the splint in place with the zinc oxide tape by placing the strips one at each end of the splint and then throughout the splint. Apply another layer of sofban. Do this the same way you applied the initial layer of sofban. And, the fourth step is finishing the splint. Apply a protective layer such as Coflex to keep the bandage clean and rigid. Use elastoplast to prevent the splint from sliding off. No matter how well you apply the splint, most limb dressings have a habit of sliding off. So to ensure this doesn't happen, cut a length of adhesive dressing, such as elastoplast, to secure the top of the dressing to the limb. Take your dog to the vet. Now that your pup's damaged limb is supported in a splint, make your way to the vet. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.